Hi everyone, welcome to Extraordinary Taste. Spring rolls are often served as appetizer or dim sum dishes in most Chinese restaurants. In China, spring rolls are among the most popular foods eaten during the Chinese New Year. The golden color of the spring rolls looks like gold bars. As such, they symbolized wealth and prosperity. This year, the Chinese New Year is just around the corner on February 1st. Let's celebrate by making these delicious, crispy, lucky spring rolls. There are lots of ingredients that can be used for the fillings. A vegetarian version can be filled with a variety of fresh veggies like carrots, cabbage, mushrooms, bamboo shoots, and almost any veggies. Exceptions on high water content vegetables like tomatoes and cucumbers. Sauteing helps draw out moisture and soften the vegetables, making wrapping easier. Let's see how to prepare the fillings. Soak 1 to 2 ounces of rice noodles in warm water and it will be softened in about half an hour. Rice noodles are great to use in fillings as they absorb some of the moisture released by the vegetables. Shred 1 and half pounds of green cabbage. By the way, the ingredient quantities that are provided here are just for reference. To give you an idea how many spring rolls you can make. Cabbage looks very clean after removing the outer damaged dirty leaves and people think they don't need to wash it. However, it's not always the case. There can be dirt, insects, or even worse, pesticides hidden inside. To be on the safe side, rinse the cabbage two to three times and dry it with a salad spinner. Julian cut about 10 ounces of carrots. 6 ounces of celery. 2 tablespoons of ginger and garlic each. Cut the rice noodles into 2 inch lengths and drain just before you cook the fillings. It will dry out if drained too early. Add in 1 to 2 tablespoons of oil, brown the ginger and garlic. Different ingredients should be cooked separately because they have different cooking times. First, saute the carrots and celery until they become soft, then take it out. In the same pan, add one more tablespoon of oil, then add in the cabbage. Use high heat to saute all vegetables. Once the cabbage softens, return the carrots and celery. Add in the rice noodles. Add salt and pepper to taste. I put in one teaspoon of salt here. Mix well. Cool in the colander over a bowl. For meat lovers, use ground pork, turkey, beef, or lamb of your choice. Add oil to a pan. Stir fry the meat until it cooks through. Season it with salt and pepper to taste. Then toss it in with the rest of the fillings. There are generally two types of wrappers in different sizes on the market. They can be found in the refrigerator or freezer section of most grocery stores. Egg roll wrappers, as their name implies, are made with eggs in addition to flour. They are thick, square sheets of dough. When deep fried, it, they form a more dense, heavy bubble appearance. Outside is relatively crunchy, while inside is chewy since it is hard to fight through. I prefer to use the thin spring roll wrappers. They are more delicate, crispy, and flaky. Frozen spring roll wrappers can be thawed in the refrigerator overnight or at room temperature for 30 minutes. 
the sheets are tightly stick together and you must peel them apart. Cover to prevent them from drying out. The fillings must cool completely before wrapping. Otherwise, moisture will release and wet the wrappers. Use 1 to 2 ounces of fillings per a large 18 by 16 centimeter sheets. Lay the sheets on a flat surface. Center the fillings in one of the corners. Roll the corner over and tuck the fillings underneath it. Tuck in the fillings on the sides and fold over towards the middle. Roll up and seal with egg or a thick paste of equal portions of flour and water. This Fillings mix 20 to 25 spring rolls. When making a large batch, freeze them immediately to prevent them from getting soggy. There's moisture in the fillings no matter how well you prepare it. It is crucial to fry it at the right oil temperature. Fry the spring rolls at 300 to 325 degrees Fahrenheit on medium low heat. If the temperature is too high, the outer layer will brown very quickly. Next layer has not crisped up and the inside is not cooked through. Fresh spring rolls are not a big concern as all the fillings is cooked. But frozen spring rolls that are not cooked through can get very soggy as the fillings thaw. It will take about 6 to 10 minutes depending on the oil temperature and whether the swing rolls are fresh or frozen and their size. I wish everyone a happy, healthy Chinese New Year. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Stay safe.